Well, what a week for the UK. I can give you my assurance that the election is now over. And of course, we are where we are. But time waits for no man. And I think it, the sooner we get back to business, the better. And so I thought I'd put together some ideas of what's in store for MIA members and other businesses in Motorsport Valley. First of all, let's just ignore the political chatter in the media. It's not going to help your business and it's not going to change things for you. I would say almost instantly, double your export efforts in whatever way you can, whether you want to go to new markets or open up new customers, that the benefit of the exchange rate is still with you and people want to trade with us in the UK. Carefully consider your direct and indirect costs of imported materials or products. Make sure you know exactly what's happening to the price on those so you don't erode your margins. And don't forget to monitor your suppliers closely, particularly those that rely on imported materials or products, because eventually they're going to increase their price. And I would say don't be slow to increase your prices, hoping that things will settle down, because they probably won't in a hurry. And you can always reduce or offer discounts later. Now, what I would say is, how will the government now react uh, as they settle down? Well, first of all, they hardly mentioned the economy during their election campaign. So I think they should and will wake up to the value of business to the economy. We create jobs, we pay our taxes, we invest, we export, and of course we build trade all around the world, just exactly what they want us to do. They'll probably put business first in their negotiations with Brexit, the free movement of labor, we want tariff-free trade, but don't forget that's also what EU wants. So if we could get that out of the way and have some interim agreements, that would be good for everybody. Not easy, but no business deal is. I think that they could relax the austerity plans that they had and invest through Innovate UK in lots of businesses as they are doing, but they could increase that. They will certainly be chasing electric power and battery production, and I think they might even consider increasing the R&D tax credits and support for exporters, which would be really good. If you keep your eye on the industrial strategy that was finished just before the election, they're going to support the best sectors. And we've made sure by our submission that motorsport and high performance engineering is right in the front of them. And I think you'll see that they will boost the Northern Powerhouse and Midlands Engine areas of uh, business in the UK. Through the efforts of the MIA and our members, We've kept high performance engineering and motorsport right in front of government and it's well recognised now for offering well rewarded jobs, a high productivity and exports and 30% of R&D investment, 30% of sales into R&D investments and increasingly a valuable player in cross sector supply chains. So it's really good to raise this should you meet any of your MPs or ministers. We are just what the UK needs. I can promise you the MI is going to keep this industry right in front of this government and in two weeks time we're looking forward to meeting many, many MPs and ministers at our House of Lords summer reception. So, good luck. I'm sure there'll be good business.